valley and the startups like these have come out there and multiple unicorns of course we are also seeing these things in india now there are last one and a half years we have seen this multi billion dollar companies which are reached the unicorn club and some of the success stories in last these are two i'm sure many of you know because the uh, many of you invested in these companies and they have given given more than 1000 x returns personally i was also engaged in some of these startups uh, in helping them raise the capital why is venture capitalist funds so many of you must be thinking you know why this venture capital there are a lot of funds lot of angel networks lot of uh, you know accelerators in keeps in place but one thing what we noticed uh, while i was researching in valley that which is missing is a platform which is integrating all these things so here we comes with a gamut of services to the startups and which is a one stop solution for a startup and that's where the differentiator is and we got a very special day to in fact uh, inaugurate this facility <coughs> so this is a platform where all the stakeholders i'm seeing you know some of the vc sitting here some of the angel investors sitting here some of the corporate sitting here and some of the startups are sitting here all of them come together under one roof and they are working towards creating a startup nation here is a co founder me i met uh, so uh, in fact uh, one of the key differentiator of venture capitalists is our co founding team we have a combination of capital mentoring and intelligence uh, and business network uh in fact uh, one of my partner gaurav is from stanford and he is in delhi these days uh and uh, he worked in venture capital industry genex venture i come from the background i established multiple incubators probably the first incubator of india that i established got the president of india award in 2005 and uh, later on i also kick started accelerator industry and later on i was also engaged in multiple uh, you know the uh, startups which are unicorns now so there are about 48 investments i led in the past and many of them are above 100 crore companies so i also have partners anil jain and anush who are who are having a large network of investors and the corporates we have a very credible board in fact samir is sitting here and abhishek and many of you are sitting here uh, these are people who have around 200 angel investments collectively and these are people and this samir runs a fund which is a close to close to around billion dollar transaction every year uh, and under this basically he uh, led many multiple investment like oyo rooms uh, maximozo uh, you know vishal is earlier senior director in yahoo uh, abhishek led multiple companies like cardia fund to help them on uh, trees dauchi was responsible for pika industry and uh, ankush not but ankush is one of the best known technologists entrepreneurs in india what is there for the investors with in venture capital as you can join now we are about 200 250 people in the angel network you can join this network and co invest with us and these are some of them who invested in oyo rooms with us between 2 to 6 lakhs today they are you know they are multiplied there about 1000x so you can join us uh, in this network and be part of our angel network <coughs> you can also invest in our fund which is you know likely to be launched soon <coughs> here uh, we would also like to you know there will be many investor who would be also many of them already playing a catalyst role with us and leading investor role with us so in venture capitalists we have a very strong uh, processes in place we have a strong tracking in place we have a strong uh, portfolio management services in place we provide around one year support to each startup which uh, joins us <coughs> what is there for startups most important thing today uh, when we are announcing startup india startup india we should see what differentiated offerings we can bring to the table as i said it's a gamut of services for the startup here you are sitting uh, the startups we are every startup we are investing 75 lakhs to 2 crores that's what our street is called and we are investing in this company very very early stage concept stage and some of the investment which we recently announced is confirmed ticket and shifted we are sitting in the facility is probably one of the biggest startup facility in in, in bombay and one of the biggest in bombay in india as well so this is the facility dedicated for the startups and they can come it's highly subsidized for the startups we are just looking interesting startup to invest 
the purpose, and that's the reason we invited uh, Chief Honorable Chief Minister to come and inaugurate this facility because this is the way how this whole startup ecosystem in Mumbai is going to kickstart, and there's been a lot of new unicorns coming out of this facility. You can join our innovation boot camps. There are a lot of, you know, uh, these are mostly corporate sponsored. There is HDFC Bank, there is like Texas Bank, there are a couple of them who are actually sponsoring this program. They are looking to collaborate with the startup. They are looking to, you know, in, acquire these startups, invest in these startups. We have a partnership in Valium, and this is one of the big differentiators. Where we have a plug and play. Plug and play is a company which basically invested in Google, PayPal, Logitech. And we have a strong, we are the only at the moment partner in India. And we are, our startups, which we are investing, going to take them to Valley. And they can raise capital from there. They can get mentored by the, one of the best inventors from Valley. So this is a very strong connect for the startup and the startup. In fact, other than this, a partner is in Valley. Uh, uh, Gaurav, he's opening multiple doors for the startups from there. Uh, Amit Jain, another guy who is uh, very close to us, he's setting up our Valley chapter. And he's helping uh, connect our startup in Valley. So what is differentiator? I mean, to be frank, our team is one of the big differentiator. We have a team with a very, very strong, successful track record. Second, we have a, a connection to the global connections, like in UK and Bali. We are taking our startups to the other countries, and we are also getting them mentored over there. Uh, most important thing is that we have a co-founding team, which is uh, you know have deep understanding of the startup ecosystem, a board which is having hundreds of the angel investment of experience and support from all of you to be frank uh, you know who are here to support this initiative and help us make this successful so i would uh, once again like to thank um, mr balab basari who is here uh, he's a known name in this industry i he do an <coughs> introduction he's founder of inam security uh, mr amrish murthy he is the founder of paper fry one of the most successful startups who raised 100 million in the past, and uh, Anil Ji, Anuj, they are my partners, and Honorable Chief Minister. Uh, so I would like to thank all of them. Now I invite uh, Balab Ji to please share some words with the startup community and the investors present here. the founders and friends. It's a wonderful day for the country as the Prime Minister is launching a startup policy in Delhi and our beloved Chief Minister is not starting a policy but one of the products of that policy or that thinking is uh, starting, uh, is inaugurating this facility here. I've been working in this space for many, many years and more pointedly in policy formation and uh, pointing a direction. But uh, I just want to share a few thoughts and experiences from uh, having worked with I don't know how many hundreds of entrepreneurs. Um, so, you know, just the word startup. Uh, so, I think from a country's point of view, having lots of startups is a great thing. But from an individual's point of view, think about it. It's not about starting up, it is about ending. And uh, then from a country's point of view, even if we had lots and lots of people start up, and they reach turnover of you know, 10 crores, 100 crores, 500 crores, I've done some elaborate math. And uh, I don't know what will come out in the policy, but I recommend it to the government that even if we spent money, we gave money to each startup, Statistically, in 20 years' time, we'll make a 20% return on that money. But that's from country's point of view. But from a startup, from the founder's point of view, you must think of ending. And uh, to end, you have to remember two things. That you have to be useful. You know, I mean, innovation is a big obsession. But innovation is about being useful. And if someone is more useful to your customer, he will let you go. And it's not only that you're useful, you have to be competitive. So the 
end objective of your innovation, smartness, size, etc., all lies in these two catchwords that are you useful and are you competitive. And I'll give an example. Yesterday, the stock markets collapsed. Uh, I mean, they've been collapsing for a while. But uh, something very dramatic happened. That if you put together the market capitalization of all the big public sector banks, that means Bank of Baroda, Bank of India, Canada Bank, all the big banks, <laughs> and included State Bank of India, right? State Bank of India is so large, so innovative, and so on and so forth. The market capitalization of all these banks put together was 2,64,000 crores. Market capitalization of one bank, HDFC Bank, was equal to that. 2,65,000 crores, almost the same. So this is the power of being useful, being competitive, completely focused on what you have to do. So I think uh, uh, the founders uh, have uh, done a human service. I hope that uh, they remember that uh, working with startups is a very delicate job. As to when you pull the plug, how much money you give them. I've done rounds and rounds of funding from companies from Infosys and Z and whatnot. And it's just a very delicate job. And they, they were public markets, more formal markets. But in these uh, circumstances, one has to be responsible to, and it's not just about making a return on your capital. I think it's, it's a fabulous uh, concept. Uh, I think hundreds of these are required in the country, and I'm sure they will open up over the next uh, five, seven years in the country. Each district, sir, has to have a proper incubator, and I created a model also, that what kind of incubator succeeds. And Maharashtra, being the leader in the country, has, is probably ahead of others, but a lot more can be done. Given the number of academic institutions, technical institutions that we have, we have a clear advantage, uh, given generally the track record of the government, etc. So I think uh, I'm extremely happy to be here, and I wish uh, the incubator and all the potential startups here uh, extremely well. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot for uh, kind words and also a very, very inspiring words from Balaji. And uh, I would like to quickly invite uh, Amrish, who is one of the successful entrepreneurs, is hundred million plus hundred million dollars for the startup. Uh, good morning, everybody. And uh, my story is actually, a, uh, I thought I'd talk about, uh, about something a little different about the experience of starting up. And, uh, uh, I would like to start by saying that I think Bombay has given me a lot. I'm actually not from Bombay, uh, but when I chose to start my career in Bombay, uh, 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 when I chose to start my career, I chose to start here in Bombay. And uh, very often I'm asked this question as to why are other cities in India uh, more like the startup cities. And my, my response to them normally is that actually Bombay is the startup capital of India. Most of the largest businesses that you ever find in India started up in Bombay. And it happened 50, 60, 70, perhaps even 100 years back. And so what we're looking to do now in Bombay is uh, basically bring that entire startup ecosystem back. So Pepperfly companies such as mine, uh, and there are a lot of other companies in and around, let's say, the Kobay Lake area, where we are looking to tap into the talent that exists in the city in order to build our businesses. Right? And we've had a fantastic journey. And one of the things, uh, I think I, I, I uh, empathize completely with what Mr. Vitsali said. Uh, one of the things about, is, about being a startup is actually not the beginning, and I would pick, pick a little, it's not the end, it's the journey. It's the time that you have when you are truly building a great business. Most of the startup entrepreneurs uh, like me uh, in, 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 in India today, we come from very modest families. We come from families where the emphasis was more on education than it was on earning money or making money. I mean, I remember when my, if I were to have a, my mother unfortunately has passed away, but uh, if I were to have had a conversation with her six years back saying, I'm looking to start a business, she would say, why are you doing that? You should do a job. Uh, so we come from very different backgrounds. What that's helped us do is that it's helped us evolve a very different culture 
of the <coughs> business. It's a culture which involves, uh, you know, working with people that you truly enjoy working with. It's a culture which involves selling goods, services, products, which you truly enjoy selling. And therefore, it's all about, you know, the journey that you have. And my, my request to anybody who has any thoughts about starting up is think about what you will do five years later when you write a book on your startup journey. And it will be all about the journey, it will be all about the fun times, the, 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 the value that you gain, the funds that you raise, these are only numbers. It's the softer aspects of building a startup which are truly exhilarating. They are absolute fun. And I am certain that, uh, you know, once you went to uh, embark on that journey, you will have, I mean, I mean, it's always a double-edged sword, you'll have some good, you'll have some bad, but you will truly enjoy yourself. And that is the goal of anybody who's looking to start up. So my request uh, and my entreaty is, uh, if you have a thought in your mind, go for it. Uh, initiatives such as Venture, venture cap, uh, Catalyst is, uh, will help you craft your ideas out well. They will help you put, so to speak, an Excel sheet together, which will help you define how your business is going to grow. Uh, and once you're on that path, enjoy the journey. That's all, folks. Uh, thanks a lot for having me here, and I'm truly humbled by the occasion. So now the time has come for all of you to hear Honorable Chief Minister Devenji Fernavis. Facilities 
like venture catalysts would be doing that hand holding because the entire ecosystem is created this plug and play facility the investors the mentors everyone under one roof and i think you have given me a mission when you said that mumbai is capital of startups now let me assure you in coming days we will really make maharashtra and mumbai capital of startups Allah ji has rightly said that we need to create such ecosystems at more places, and with the new policy of uh, our honourable Prime Minister, who understands that this is a youthful country, and we all know that although, as compared to China or Silicon Valley or Singapore. we have just 10% of startups but if we look at the age profile the most youthful startup nation has been india because all the startups in india are filled by the people who are below 35 years of age and i think this immense energy which we have needs a channel and that channel if we can provide and uh, we also <coughs> have a a demand for new startups because we are a growing nation we are fast developing nation and a nation where more than billion people are embracing technology are believing in power of communication the communication is reaching even the last man a person sitting in the rural area and i think if this power is hap upon and if we develop a ecosystem to really catch on this power our journey towards being a developed nation would be accelerated more look at the opportunities when we are creating smart cities one single smart city like mumbai needs thousand startups the opportunity to create thousand startups in just one smart city like mumbai and we have seen in the past that the innovation is a key innovation is a leveler and innovation is a through which we can reach the people fast so i am sure that uh, at uh, venture catalyst we will find a new paper fry or a uh, google getting started and uh, i'm sure that this will act as a role model for creating many more such facilities congratulations and thank you very inspiring in fact uh, we really vouch to i think all of us to all, all of us should vouch to create mumbai as startup capital of india so uh, thanks for the kind words uh, now i would request uh, anil jain uh, to felicitate honorable chief minister
एनर्जी एनर्जी Open, open, open. <laughs> so demand is. We should have visited Bhutan again. Police wale part, four part checking. Definitely, uh, it's a great effort by the uh, gentleman who is, uh, uh, despite all, uh, you know, uh, he has made it wow. and uh, wonderful, oh. wonderful efforts. This is a really great effort by the gentleman. We would like to promote such initiative more and more. With this, I conclude the inaugural ceremony and request Honorable Chief Minister to also visit some of the startups downstairs who are waiting for him to you know look at their product. So we have a gallery downstairs. So I'll take it there, gentlemen. 